So this question asks us to find the domain and range of y equals the log base 3 of x. Okay, well, now remember what a log looks like. It doesn't really matter what the base is. If the base is, as long as the base is greater than 1, it's going to look something like this. Okay, the 3 there as a base is really just going to determine really how steeply uh, the, the logarithmic function rises and then how, how quickly it, it, it increases as he goes this way. But the basic properties are going to stay the same. Now, notice that the graph is only defined really in quadrants uh, 1 and, and 4 which means my domain can't be element of the real. So it can't be A, okay, and everything else is, is looking pretty good here. Greater than or equal to zero, greater than zero, greater than zero. Now, it can't be equal to zero. Okay, if you were to plug zero in and try to take the log of zero, you'd find that you'd run into a problem. Okay, there is an asymptote there. There's a line that the graph approaches. It doesn't get to it, so it can't be this one. Now look at the range. Okay, how far down does this logarithmic function go? Well, it, it, drops infinitely. Now, it also goes up infinitely, although it does it really, really slowly. So the range here is going to be all reals. Uh, and here we go. See, it couldn't be this one right here because I can see even from my little sketch that I go below the x, the x axis where, where y is zero. So it can't be this one. It's got to be this one. Greater than zero and the range is all reals. That's the answer.